We're going to discuss today the structural adhesives that are used in the assembly of a recreational boat. So for instance, there's a lot of hardware that goes into and onto a recreational boat. There's a bow lifting ring, there's transom lifting rings, there's um, railings, and of course there's cleats. So what we're going to demonstrate today is how to correctly attach a cleat to a fiberglass boat. So after the boat is assembled, you'll have a template and you'll cut away the shape of the cleat. Now the cleat only has two screws. If you attach it and just put the screws on, all you're going to have is all the stress where those two nuts are. And any kind of a strong pull will easily pull through the fiberglass. So the way to prevent that is to use a structural adhesive like Vibratite PB300. PB300 is a very strong, very flexible, and very fast structural adhesive that is used very commonly in the marine industry. So the first thing we're going to do is learn how do we correctly load and get our PB300 ready for use. We have a dispensing gun that is made specifically for a one-to-one -one cartridge, which is what we have with the PB300. We simply slip it in. And the first thing we want to do is we want to burp the cartridge to be sure that the A and the B side are coming out correctly. So simply remove the nose piece, get a piece of scrap cardboard or paper, and then just dispense. And you want to dispense until you have an equal side of A and B. So you can see we have the, the A and the B coming out together. So we know we've correctly burped the cartridge. Then we will put on the correct mix nozzle. And this is made specifically for the PB300. We just have to get it turned correctly. And again, we do want to dispense one or two cartridge lengths to be sure we have a nice uniform color, which now we do. So on the fiberglass, the first thing we want to do is we want to circle the bolt holes and we we'll want to circle where the, the cleat's going to mount. The reason this is so important is not only do we want to bond the cleat to the fiberglass, but we want to seal it against any water intrusion. We'll stick that in and then we'll flip it over to the back side. So here's where it's very important. You want to again seal all the areas around here so water doesn't come in and then you want to bond, bond the mounting plate to the fiberglass to the, so the stress is distributed over this whole area and you won't have any damage to the fiberglass. So now we know that we will be totally sealed. We will put a, a small layer onto the mounting plate. And then attach the mounting plate to the back of the cleat into the fiberglass. So now we know that this cleat is structurally bonded and watertight seal. Then we attach the nuts and we have a assembly that's ready to go.